Hey folks, AJ the CEO here. And I don't know if you saw any of my community posts or if you've been on Facebook, we have added a bunch of other translations of the Bible on our website, ajtheceo.com. These are XML versions of the Bible that can be used on mainly programs like Presenter, but other um, programs that allow you to import different versions of the Bible that are in an XML format. So I'm slowly adding some more when I find them or manually translating some of them and put them in putting them, if I can speak, putting them in XML format, they'll be listed on the site, of course, completely free. I'm not going to charge for the Bible. Um, but again, I'll show you how we do all this. So let's first go cut over to my website so we can show you how to get all of this stuff done. All right. So we're here and we're going to go up here to digital and then we're going to go, I have them separated. We do support right now. I have Spanish, um, Danish, French, Tamale. We're working on some other ones as well, too. So you can either pick the language or just go to Bibles. And these are all the versions that we have. I want to give a big shout out to Brandon. He um, found the English Standard Version. So that's where we were able to get that one done. And we just got a bunch of these. So all you got to do is go through the process, click on it. I mean, you can add a bunch of them if you want to. You just do check out. As you can see, it doesn't cost anything and you go to the checkout and all you got to do is fill in your information. Um, it's going to, you know, if I say I put something here and I'll just put um, no reply at ajhoneys.com. It's going to ask you to put this information. It's not going to ask for any purchase information because it doesn't cost anything. You fill that information out, boom, there you go. And you'll get the download. The download is only available for 24 hours, but again, it's free. So you don't have to worry about that. Now, how do you use these? I am now in Presenter. I think OpenLP uses this as well too, but I use um, Presenter. So let me show you how to do that. First, if we go back to the home screen, we're gonna go over here to the gear, go to settings, and we're gonna go to Bibles. All you have to do, and as you see, I've been imported a bunch of the versions that we have um, here. So let me just show you. We're gonna go to import, I'm going to go to my desktop because that's where I moved that other version. And here it is. This is the um, ESV version of the Bible XML. I'm just going to open that. Give it a second to import. And there it is. So there is the version that I just brought in. So now how do you use it? So we're going to come in here, add a new queue. I'm going to add a background. Let's use, I don't know. Download this one. Let's use this one. Now we're going to go to scripture. Now we need to pick our translation. So if we went to the one we just did, ESV, there we go. And now you can pick or you can do type passage in our work. So if I do James 1, do a search. Where do I want the reference? Bottom right. What's the template layout? There we go. Do launch. And there we go. So if I switched over, here so y'all can see what that output looks like, it would be something like this. That's what will show up. So if I go switch, boom, as you can see, that is that translation. Now let's go ahead and switch back. And this is what I want to give anybody else who's using this and you want this in a different language. Let's actually do that. So I actually already had French here, but let's switch it over. Let's switch it over to um, let's go over to Hindi, which I guess I need to make a, a mark that I do have something in Hindi. And as you can see, it's written in Hindi. But now, sometimes, especially if you're doing the search, it's expecting you to type in that language as well, too. So if you have that situation and you don't have the keyboard and anything set up to do that, like French using the accent aigus and all this other stuff, the accents that aren't typical on a um, keyboard... I would suggest you select passage and then you can just pick. Now, the good thing is this was actually, this XML actually had it in that language, the books written in that language. So if I go here and launch, there you go. So if I pick one of these and let's switch this over so you can see the full screen, that's how it's going to be displayed. Really slick, really slick. Now let's go back and let's go back to another one. Let's change the version to French. 
Now, as you can see, this one actually has the books of the Bible in French as well, too. So if you tried to type, let's go to passage search, and if I tried to go to, um, you know, Genesis 1, see, it doesn't search because it's looking for Genesis in French. That's why I would say go ahead and do passage select and then find it this way, and you'll have everything the same way. So here it is in French. I don't even want to attempt to do my French because it's so rusty. <laughs> but there you go. If we went through it, um, I know some of those. Où commencement de cré... I don't even want to mess myself up. I know the people who speak French are like, oh my God, AJ, that was so horrible. Yeah, I know. But again, hopefully this helps. A lot of y'all have asked um, about different Bibles and different translations. You could do it this way. We have Spanish, Danish, French. Somali, we're working on Swahili. Um, we also have Hindi, other ones like that. You can go get it from ajtocel.com under digital, then Bibles, all of them there. You can download all of them if you want. Again, they're completely free. And the more that we find, the more we convert, they'll be listed here. So hopefully um, this helps you out if you want to look for other translations. We do have quite a few in English, and some people have sent me some that we're trying to find or manually do and just realize we have to go through the entire Bible and put it into an XML format. So that does take a little bit of time. So hope that helps. Let me know down below, please. I'm almost regretting saying something like this. Let me know if there's a translation that you're specifically looking for. We can't guarantee that we'll do that. Um, find it and in a fast way, but if we can, we will. Or if you have access to one and you want to submit it to us so we can list it on the website for everybody to have a centralized place to get it, please email me at questions at heyjhomes.com, attach that, and then we'll go from there. So again, if you like this type of content, appreciate a like, consider subscribing, hit that bell, that way you'll get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry. Thanks for watching, folks. This is AJ. Catch you on the next video. Later.